Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, you were the answers that God gave to them. Some people have answers before them, but they don't realize who that answer is until it becomes too late. Sometimes God puts you in the life of people as answers, even to their prayers. Someone can be an answer to somebody else's prayer. God, because God, God help man, true man. God help men, true men. When he wants to help somebody, he will send someone. I need you to understand that God sent you. God sent you into their lives to be an answer. But because they could not see beyond what they want, <clears throat> when people don't get what they want, now, 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 now. They will forget, they will just give up on that person or they forget about God and all of that. <clears throat> now, many people are living in regret today because they throw away their answer. God had me to speak to somebody. Don't see yourself as a problem. See yourself as a solution. Am I speaking to you? You must tell yourself you are a solution. When men are praying for divine helpers, you are among those that God is sending forth as divine helpers. You might be saying, Evangelist, say yes, I don't have much. I don't have plenty money in my bank. I don't have this, you know. God use people in different ways. Your presence alone can bring peace to somebody else's life. You know, being an answer or solution to somebody's life, in somebody's life, is not just only about money. That is something that the world is missing now. When you say that God is sending somebody forth as a divine helper, everybody is still looking about money. Okay, when I have money, I will have money. You know, it's not all about money. Having money is okay. God sending you forth with money is okay. It's not out of play. But I'm telling you that that is not the only answer that you can be to somebody. But so, so many people, that was the only area they look at. That is the only aspect they look at. Ah, Oh, this person, uh, I will give him money, 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 money. No. You can pray for someone and that, through that prayer, some, that person will find favor. You can pray for somebody and through that prayer, that person will find a job. So there are different ways that God positioned his people in making them solutions to problems. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You are that hidden solution that many people never realize until it's bec it become too late because your value should not be thrown away. I will tell you, even if you are a divine helper, even if God has sent you forth, when you are not appreciated, don't throw your value away. What you do is that you pick up your value and you redirect it to places where it will be appreciated. Hallelujah. Gift, important gift should not be thrown before someone. It should not be true before someone. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. They are beginning to realize that you are the answer that they miss. Some persons choose the wrong answer because they were looking at the container. They were looking at the physical, the, the physical aspect of the container. They never really see what is inside the container. Many people lose their answers because they refuse to see the potential that was in you. You must begin to see yourself as a solution. God is saying to somebody, for everyone that thought that you were never good enough, God is saying that you are even more good enough than they expected. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There are many of them not realizing how good you are. Yes, how good you are. You are a good person, I say again. You are a good person, I say again. You know, <laughs> when, you, when you ask somebody now, what can you do for me? 
anything you any situation like that and what can you do for me because they look at a person like this one does not have a it does not have private jet <laughs> it does not have a car that is very flashing it does not have a mansion that have the most beautiful swimming pool on this world it does not have millions in his or her can they look at somebody somebody want to help the next thing is that what can you do for me you cannot help me i've encountered people like that i've encountered people like that you know what can you do for me <laughs> there are some things you will just hear you will not be asking your god ah, ah, god what have i done now? even if i don't have money at least let me give <clears throat> what you have given me because uh, Paul Peter um P, uh, Paul Peter said silver and gold I have no. The Bible says that the, the man at the gate to the temple was asking for arm um, from Peter and said, Give me food, give, uh, give me money. So and Peter said, Look on look at us. So he was looking at them, thinking that he was going to give them money because that is the only thing that he's there to receive. So if you don't have money to give him, you have no business with him. You should just leave him alone. But he said to him, silver and gold I have known. But all I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. The Bible says, and the man stood up and begins to walk. Hallelujah. The man stood up and begins to walk. You know, when you when people don't see beyond that what they need, na 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 na, they will not see the value of what the person God is sending to them carry. You must understand that when God places you in a marriage, you are a blessing to the man or to the woman. You are not that you are not a problem. But many of them will see you as a problem, maybe because they are having financial situation, they are passing through some difficulties. They will not start thinking that, oh, it is because of you, how I wish you were contributing. You are not a problem. People don't value what they have until they lose it. May they not lose you in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying that if that man is your husband, that woman is your husband, that they will realize you're important before it becomes too late. Because there are so many people who begins to realize who we are. But when it is already too late. Because you now realize that what they are not accepting, you can channel it to yourself. God did not send us to go and argue with anyone. God did not send us. He only sent us to preach the gospel and represent Christ on earth. Take the kingdom by force, the things that the enemy is fighting, we take it by force. You know, he never really tells us to go and be arguing. If Jesus can say, can say to his disciples that if you go to a city and preach, you are not welcome, that you should leave. Dust your, the, 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 the sand on your sander. Say, dust it at the city, at the entrance or at the exit. Dust it there, for that shall be a witness against that city on the last day. Is it you? Is it you that don't even have that kind of faith that the disciples have then that, 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 that people will not even want to argue with? God did not send us to argue with them. There are some situations you will see, especially when you are a child of God who is building a relationship with God, you will want to argue. You will have ground to argue. You will have ground to argue. But the Holy Spirit will tell you, daughter, son, don't argue. Don't just leave them alone. Because arguing is not amounting to anywhere. You are, the Lord will tell you, don't argue with them. There are some grand I will see on my prayer session sometimes when this Pharisee, some of these Pharisees will come. They will start manifesting. You know, there, will, there is something in me that will want to tell me that respond to this person that have come and be doing this. And the Spirit of the Lord said no. Because the moment you start responding to something you are not supposed to respond to, they have taken your mind off what the Holy Spirit was doing through you. That is distraction. Distraction. Hallelujah. So sometimes you need not to, you don't have to argue with them. 
just concentrate. It's only a matter of time that so many of them will realize who you are. That God brought you into their life as a blessing, not, at a, not as a problem. I pray for you, child of God, that your potential will not be stripped of you. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.